Wonglong Bing, or HLB, also known as citrus greening, is one of the most serious citrus diseases. HLB is a bacterial disease that attacks the vascular system of plants. Once infected, there is no cure for the disease, and in areas where the disease is endemic, citrus trees produce bitter, inedible fruit and die. HLB bacteria are transmitted by two species of psyllids, small insects with hind legs adapted for jumping. In June 1998, the Asian citrus psyllid was found for the first time in the United States in Delray Beach, Florida, but no associated HLB infection was found at that time. Because of the extreme threat the disease poses to Florida citrus, the department had been conducting HLB surveys for many years. Once the Asian citrus psyllid was discovered, survey efforts were intensified. As part of a cooperative effort between the state and the USDA, targeted surveys were initiated in communities with concentrations of people from countries where HLB is endemic because they may be at higher risk of receiving infected plant material. During one of the targeted HLB surveys in 2005, two citrus trees in South Florida were identified as showing symptoms of HLB. Laboratory tests confirmed the Asian form of the disease. Psyllids also cause direct plant damage, including leaf distortion, such as curling and notching. HLB can also be spread through plant grafting and movement of infected plant material. Though citrus is the primary plant host for HLB, other citrus relatives can also get the disease. Common HLB host plants include the Chinese box orange, Severinia buxifolia, curry leaf, Morea canigii, and orange jasmine, Morea paniculata. HLB or citrus greening symptoms include irregular mottled yellow and green patterns on leaves, yellow shoots against an otherwise green background canopy, dieback of shoots or limbs, lopsided asymmetric fruit or fruit that are undersized and don't ripen normally, fruits with bitter off flavors when they should be ripe. In seedy fruit, seeds don't form properly and will be dark and small. Symptoms of HLB or citrus greening have been observed during field surveys and have provided on-site training for federal and state agriculture inspectors. And the mottled fruit is also lopsided. Right. So you might have a tree that might not show all the symptoms. It might show a couple of them and it might be variable. Is that the case? It might be variable. This tree seems to have more fruit symptoms than foliar symptoms, although the foliar symptoms are there. Are there, sure. Yeah, I don't see very much model on this particular tree. Not much. Not classic model. There's some here. A little bit, but that could pass bit. for manganese deficiency, yeah. Yeah, if you just had that, you'd say, oh, we have a manganese problem. But that's why it's important to take good notes about your tree when you're sampling. This model here may be a leaf miner. I don't know. This might be greening model. As you can see it from the back, mm -hmm. and there's no leaf miner to account for it. Susan, if there's psyllids, would it be worthwhile collecting psyllids? I think it would. I think it would be worthwhile because sometimes you can find the bacteria in the psyllids as easily as you can find it in the leaves. Yeah, we We've done quite a few uh, surveys in Florida for citrus greening, and one symptom that we often record is this uh, dieback symptom. And it's basically uh, when, when the uh, branch starts dying back from the tip. And in general, we try to estimate the percentage dieback on, on a given tree. And then uh, over time, we, we try to see if that dieback increases or decreases. And this is for trees that uh, may be in the very early stages of uh, infection. So there's the, the leaf miner. You turn it over and there's the mine. And this one is a fungus. And you turn it over and there's the fungus. And here, are examples of real citrus greening infection. You can see the irregular model. Let me take these out of the way. And 
You see the irregular model on real citrus greening infection. That particularly is really classic. Cork in there. And then here's um, an example of both citrus greening infection and some some of the fungus lesions that you can tell from cause the polka dot appearance on there. A little bit of vein corking, possibly from a combination of CTV, citrus tristeza virus, and greening. If it is determined that your tree is infected with HLB, it is recommended that you destroy the tree before it infects other citrus in the area. Though there is no cure for HLB, spread of the disease can be slowed by the voluntary removal of infected trees. The public plays an important role in protecting Florida's natural environment and plant life. There are many resources available to assist and educate home gardeners about plant pests and diseases. Some important actions that individuals can take to protect Florida agriculture and our natural environment include be vigilant. If you see signs of disease or an unusual pest, contact your county extension office or the department. Don't pack a pest. When returning home to Florida from a trip, don't bring plants, fruits, vegetables, or illegal animals. Purchase only certified plants from registered nurseries. Ask for advice from your county extension office or the department for tips on caring for your citrus trees or managing citrus diseases. Consider planting alternative fruit trees. For a list of those that will grow well in your area, contact your county extension office or the department's website. If you suspect your trees may be infected with HLB, please call the department's toll-free helpline or your local county extension office or visit the website.